this is Scott with Lake Weeders Digest, and I'm here with Mike Jacobson with Wave Armor. Mike, tell me and the audience here, why Wave Armor? Well, why, Wave Armor is the only product out there that's a foam-filled product made out of a polystyrene foam. So what we have in front of you here is our cutaway dock section of what our foam construction and our ports are designed like. The exterior is made out of a polyethylene material. The interior is made out of a polystyrene. If a muskrat or anything eats a hole into this thing, it does not hurt the integrity or the buoyancy of my product. Mike's going to show off some of the different components that you can add onto your system. This is as modular as it gets, right? This is a Lego block for adults. <laughs> That's what it is. If you yeah. want to add items to it next yeah. year, the UV rating on my product is phenomenal. There was a lady that had a dock that a uh, tree limb fell on it. Yeah. After five years, we replaced the dock section on it. The color matched amazing wow. after five years. So, so you're saying that even in all that hot sun, yes. these are not going to fade? They will not fade. Tell us a little bit about some of the sections. Like right now, so we're on a 60 section. by 120. And okay. this is the most typical, the most popular dock section that we have. Um, it gives you the rigidity when you're walking on the water to make it feel like you're not even standing on a dock. How best do we anchor these into the water? What does that look like, Mike? So on the very end over here, on the other end, we actually have post attachment brackets. Okay. And the post attachment brackets, we're going to put them depending on on the uh, type of water that you're in. If it's really rough conditions, if it's in a bay, we can go every 20 foot intervals, but in most general purposes, the 15 feet apart. So this is our two inch post attachment bracket that you're seeing down here. And new for 2019, we actually have the rubber cushion that's built right on to the post attachment if you need that. Also, there's a channel built into it for your electricity to come through your dock as well. And oh. that's new for 2019, and that's gonna be pretty much standard that we're gonna keep that all the same. So here's your post sleeve. This would go over your two inch pole, which is what your gray pipe here is, is uh, showing you here. And what was gonna happen is this gray post would actually be driven down to the bottom of your lake, yes. going down three feet approximately. And then you would slide your post cover over the top of it and you would never see your pole again. It would constantly be fluctuating in and out of the top of your post attachment. So Mike, we're looking at a nice stretch of dock here. And the thing that really impresses me about the wave dock is there's no fasteners, there's no attachment points. Right. Is that the way it literally looks in the water? Absolutely, it looks identical to this. What holds our product together is we use this H-beam construction. As you can see on the top here, there's nut certs in here for actually putting the fasteners directly in. Each one of these is going to take a 50 inch H-beam that's going to be installed in front of, inside of these to keep these together. They use six fasteners, there'll be two in each end and then two in the dead center. You literally can put a dock system together exactly how you want to put it together with the wave armor and do so seamlessly. Absolutely. Off to our left here, it's a nice size ramp that we have here. This particular ramp is not filled with any of the foam. This does not float. It's meant to stay on the surface or on your shoreline on that end. It's very sturdy though. Yes, yeah, yeah. very sturdy. And we actually have rigid pipes that we can put underneath there if we need to increase the strength of it, if it's going to be sitting completely flat. So if somebody needs to have an area from their rip raft or seawall and have some extra distance, you can create that rigidity with this ramp. So what if somebody says, hey look, I have a dock system already, but I don't want to have just a fixed dock, but instead I'd like to go from a fixed dock to a floating dock. Is there a way to do that, perhaps even with this kind of uh, exact, ramp abutment kit that you're referring exactly to? That's exactly what you would do. And we have that available for both this and the, for the seven foot as That's well. That's great. So you can actually use this ramp abutment kit and put it on, make a, a floating dock on the end of your stationary dock or crib dock. Well. So with the stationary dock maybe closer to the edge of the shoreline mm -hmm. and then out at farthest reach where the wave dock system meets up, that abutment kit would be there to match the fix to the ramp so Absolutely. that's great folks, if you have a fixed dock but you want to add a floating dock at the end of it, this is a perfect opportunity for you too. You don't have to have a complete wave armor setup. Absolutely you not. could start with half of it or a third of it. As you said, Mike, yep. they're adult Legos. Yep. So yep. you can build on year after year. They don't fade. They're foam filled. Wave armor really does look to be the best product on the market. Absolutely.